Hi friends and greetings from quarantine once again. I'm your host, Mr. Taylor, and I will be walking you through all of your questions. So first things first, let's deal with uh, the questions that you have been sending me. I love the fact that you have so many concerns, so many questions, and so many worries. It really uh, lets us know that you're thinking ahead and you're being proactive. We want to give you all of those answers, but if you could hold your remind questions and hold your remind uh, concerns just a little bit longer, we're in conversations with Mr. Hippolyte, Mark Lyon, the head of UIL, uh, the director at Angleton, and all of that to sort of figure out what our options are in terms of contest. So please just hold on to your questions about all of the topics that I'm going to cover here. Um, for a couple of days, let us let us figure some things out. That's just something that, that, that'll that help us not have to pause and, and answer your question. We don't want you to think that we're ignoring you. We're just working on those answers. Um, so let's start with the elephant in the room. Contest, a week from Saturday. Solo and ensemble contest at Angleton. So excited to uh, to take you all to that. As of this moment, we will still be traveling and competing the students that are eligible and allowed to do so. Uh, specifics outside of that, I really don't have much information for you. So we are going to proceed as though testing will happen on Friday. We will be getting guidance from Mr. Lyon across the street on exactly when and how that will be taking place at the beginning of next week. And then also, we um, when it comes to... Uh, attending the contest itself, we're going to continue with the same plan that we've set forward, the arrival at 6, the leaving 6.15, etc., etc., etc. All of those rules that are in your paperwork are going to stay exactly the same unless otherwise told. Let's talk about quarantined students and positive cases. Obviously, positive cases will not be able to compete on that day. However, don't lose faith yet. We're working on something with UIL in order to uh, have a way to potentially compete. But no decision has been made, but I want you to know that it is on the docket and uh, on our minds. In terms of quarantine students, virtual students, etc., we are also working for a solution for you all. We have not forgotten you, and I promise we're doing everything that we can to come up with a really creative solution to get you to a version of UIL. We just don't quite know what that is just yet. Um, so any other questions about contests? Sorry, that's Mario blowing up my phone. Uh, thank you, Mario. <laughs> um, so any other questions there, please hold those. Let us let us come up with some solutions for you. I promise that's what we're working on while going to TMEA, while doing all of our stuff with the district. We're working for you, I promise. Hearings next week. You have a lot of questions about hearings next week. You will find on your page, a new, uh, on your Canvas page, a new setup of hearings. Um, for Wednesday. Monday obviously wasn't going to be a good idea to do weather, due to weather, so we've shifted everything to Wednesday. If you are a theater person, you are still doing yours during the day. We took care of you there. Uh, that would be with Miss Skinner. She'll be pulling you out of your classes in order to do that. Everyone else, you are expected to show up for those hearings, so you must look at that. If I hear about people not showing up to them, there will be consequences, because that's extremely disrespectful to the pianist who drove all the way in here in order to work with you. So please make sure that you're on top of that. We will send out reminds, but you need to know when you go. That's on you. Excuses will not be tolerated. Oh, I forgot is going to result in you having to pay that pianist for us because right now I picked up the tab and it would be really rude of you to not do that. Sorry, that was Miss Nicholson. <laughs> um, so those are how hearings are going to work. In terms of the hearings for us, we are working on a virtual option for that. We just haven't gotten there yet. We have so many irons in the fire. We have to sort of prioritize. You guys are so getting close. You're so ready, and I'm so proud of the work that you've done. So I don't want you to lose any sleep over that just yet. We'll get you those answers, I promise. Forms. Some of you elected to send me your forms in Canvas. Some of you elected to send me your forms in Remind. Most of you decided to do it in the way that I said, which was a direct email to me. For those of you who did not send it in a direct email to me, and those of you who did not and who chose to send it in Remind or Canvas, I'm going through and I'm trying to find them all, but they get mixed in with other things. That's why I said send it in my email. So there's going to come out a list in the next couple of days of what forms I have from whom. Everybody in these ensembles must fill out these forms, regardless of whether or not you're going to solo an ensemble. These forms cover other things that we're going to be doing over the coming next two and a half months. It's extremely important that you get those in so that we have them on file. If you could take care of that, care of that for me right now, I would really appreciate that. And secondly, um, 
If for whatever reason you believe that you turned in the forms and you get the list and you see that your it says that you do not, there's a strong possibility that you sent it to the wrong thing and I missed it. I apologize for that. I know in this moment you're thinking, I apologize too, Mr. Taylor. I didn't follow your instructions. You're right, you didn't. Still all love, not a big deal, but you need to communicate with me and not get upset when that happens. We'll just solve it. It's not a big deal. We can fix it. Just next time, follow the instructions the way that I said them. There was a reason that that happened that way. So last but not least, Ms. Nicholson and I are fine. We're great. We are attending TMEA. I've got all kinds of like brilliant people over here giving me a million ideas. I'm so excited to come up with your concerts for next year and program and plan. And all I want to do is teach and I'm trapped in my house. Um, so all of that to say, uh, we are at home working tirelessly for you. And we thank you so, so much for your understanding and your support and your concern. You're all amazing, amazing people. And we're just so terribly proud of you. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you from the bottom of both my and Miss Nicholson's heart. And uh, we will talk to y'all soon and get you information as soon as we have it. Thanks so much, y'all. Have a wonderful weekend. Stay warm. Stay bundled up. Lots of tea. This is not the weekend to be out playing unless it's going to be for a very quick snow angel. Bundle up. Come back in. And if there's no angel pictures and I don't get them in remind, I'm going to be upset. So do that for me. Sweet. Cool. All right, y'all. We miss you already. We're so sorry that we're gone, but we're going to get through this. Talk to you soon. Bye.